Welcome back to The Second Perspective. Today we are asking you to help us answer a very urgent question. Let's take a second to put the question into context. On August 30, 2021, the CDC's vaccine safety team provided an update on myocarditis. Scroll down to page 7, and you will find that as of August 18, 765 people got myocarditis within a week of getting the second dose of M. Here are the ranges of expected weekly cases that normally happen, broken down by age group. Now here are the number of cases of myocarditis the CDC actually found. To calculate how many fold higher the observed number was compared to the expected, while being as conservative as possible, you simply divide the observed by the upper number of the expected cases. So for the 12 to 15 year old boys, you divide 117 by 5 to find that those who took the second dose of the vaccine were 23 times more likely to develop myocarditis. Now compare the risks for each age group. The most noticeable finding is that 16 to 17 year old boys were the group at the highest risk of myocarditis after the second dose. That's a 40 times greater risk to be exact. Now you're probably wondering what's the big deal. Well, have a look at this research study in the New England Journal of Medicine. A quick Google Scholar search will show you that it is a well-respected paper, cited 979 times. Its findings, however, are disturbing. Of the 132 people who had acute myocarditis, only 45% were alive without having received a heart transplant by the 11-year mark. In other words, just over half of them either died or needed a transplant within 11 years. If you scroll further down in this article, you find the graph which shows how many survived over time. Not only do we see that over 50% were dead or needed a transplant by the 11-year mark, but we also see that after only 5 years, over 30% met the same fate. When thinking about teenagers, however, you need to take these findings with a grain of salt. After all, the people who had acute myocarditis in this study were 30 to 56 years old. Furthermore, our management of heart disease has improved over the last 20 years since this study was published. Nevertheless, the warnings of our recent past continue to plead for caution. This brings us to yesterday's shocking news. Despite the potentially devastating long-term outcomes of myocarditis, and despite the fact that 16 to 17-year-olds have the greatest risk of developing myocarditis from the the FDA decided on December the 9th to authorize a booster shot for 16 to 17 year olds. Let that sink in. Now here is the kicker. The question of whether or not to authorize the booster for this age group was asked before in no less than an eight hour session with the FDA's advisory committee. Take a look for yourself how well that played out. Uh, Prabha and Kathleen, are we ready to have a vote? Yes. But let me read the question first. View the safety and effectiveness data from the clinical trial uh, support approval for use in individuals 16 years of age and older. So go ahead and cast your votes this time, please. So um, this vote did not pass since the majority voted no. You heard that right. The idea of giving a booster to teenagers as young as 16 was struck down by the advisory committee in September. This time, however, the FDA decided to not discuss the boosters with the advisory committee, claiming that there were no questions that would benefit from additional discussion. The Washington Post interviewed a member of the advisory committee who said that the FDA and CDC Quote, would have gotten pushback from members like him who don't believe that boosters are needed in healthy young people. End quote. And now you have the context which leads us to the big question. Given that the FDA has unilaterally authorized boosters for the group at highest risk of developing post-vaccine myocarditis, do you believe that teenagers will now have a better long-term future? Please share this video and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this valuable, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos on The Second Perspective.